Hi, my name is Miriam Meissner and I'm co-organizing the key conversation on cultural politics for degrowth. So what's that conversation about? It's about culture as a strategy in degrowth politics. It explores how to mobilize diverse cultural forms, practices, narratives and identities as tactics in order to make a societal transition towards degrowth happen. So it's not so much about culture as a reflection or a representation of degrowth, but rather about cultural practice as a means towards achieving it. Why is that important right now? I think most advocates of degrowth today give a big importance to culture. We all know that degrowth is not just about restructuring the economic system that we live in, but also about transforming culturally dominant habits, values, ideologies, and so on. What we don't know so well yet, I think, is how this cultural transformation will happen. And that's why now is a great moment, not only to talk and reflect about cultural tactics, but also to experiment with that. So what kinds of contributions are we looking for in this conversation? We're really looking for any kind of contribution that seeks to discuss and or develop cultural objects, concepts, practices, performances, and even emotions that can help in any way in building a movement for degrowth and in promoting a degrowth transition. So we can have a great theoretical conversation about what makes an engaging and inclusive story of degrowth, but we can also try to write that story and tell this story together, perhaps in the format of a graphic short novel or in the format of a poetry slam, you name it. Or we can collectively think about the kind of art and aesthetics that would fit the overall concept of degrowth. But we can also co-design and perhaps even perform an activist art action for degrowth, maybe with the help of local artists and activists. So uh, this conversation seeks to emphasize the, the political struggle that we're currently witnessing between growth and degrowth is always simultaneously about policies and ideologies about legal regulations and everyday habits, about democratic bodies and embodied identities, about grand visions, but also about mundane everyday aesthetics. Through discussion, reflection, analysis, and hopefully also a lot of creativity, we can explore those various interconnections and in so doing, build a diverse, inclusive, and hopefully also effective cultural politics for degrowth.